Hey y'all. So this video is all about how to get good at something quickly in Unity. Uh, and it's really all coming down to one underlying sentence, which I'll tell you right now. Hopefully you keep watching, but if none else, watch 20 seconds in to understand. All of this stuff in Unity has great sample projects and sample scenes that you can get into, pick apart, and understand quickly what you're trying to do. Without further ado, let's go into Window, Package Manager, and let's just say I want to get into materials, I want to see some fabrics, I want to understand how eye shaders could work, I want to understand cloth, I want to get in and start looking at how I can do my own screen space effects. So all of that, by going into the Package Manager, if you don't have HDRP, very quick solution is to go into... I'm getting used to the new UI actually of the new package manager. I'm in Unity 6, as you can tell. Um, so in this package manager, you have the Unity registry, you have your assets, you have what's in your project. Um, so we go into the Unity registry, we'd type in high def, we'd see that we have high definition right here. That is now going to be in the project and within high definition render pipeline, you can come over here to samples. And I've imported the particle system shader samples, the material samples, and the full screen samples. So let's take a look at some of this stuff and see what we're working with. So let's just say up front, I want to do some full screen samples. So I'm going to come in here and go into scenes and open up the full screen sample scene. And over here, you can see it even comes with a nice UI element. So I can see if I change edge detection to highlight that I have different ways of leveraging screen space rendering effects. If I come into a couple of these, like uh, night vision is just utterly cool. Um, I can turn off the directional light for night vision to actually kick on. So now the sun is gone. And let's say that's one that I really like and I want to understand more of it. Uh, if I come into here and I start looking at different samples, so I've found like the colorblind sample we can get into, here we are, edge detection, highlight, night vision. So here's a prefab with this material. So if I come over here and I go into select the shader for night vision, it now takes me to the night vision shader, which I can double click. And now I, within 45 seconds, can get into this. And now I can see exactly how someone at Unity has created this sample for me to dig in and understand. So. Everything is broken into bite-sized pieces. So this is all about using the shader graph so that you can make your own effect. Or let's say I wanna use this in my own game as a night vision effect, but I wanna change from green to red. I can basically pinpoint where that color value is happening and I can change it up right here. Um, alternatively, a lot of these materials, once you get up to uh, looking here at the material itself, have a lot of exposed variables all of which is shown over here inside of the shader graph anyways. Um, but you could come in here, you can see I can change some different things. So now if I come back into my environment and hit play, now it's essentially going to do the same thing, but in red. So you can get in here, understand how each of these things are working and without trying to rinse and repeat this entire video, um, maybe I'll just call out a couple of other things. So I'll leave that where it is for screen space. Let's say we want to go down here and say, uh, I want to see some material samples. Uh, go into scenes. I have eyes, fabric, hair, lip materials. So let's say I open up lip materials and all of a sudden I have detail map, examples, anisotropy, pixel displacement, iridescence, transparencies. I can get into any of this stuff. So let's say I want to understand how subsurface scattering works. I can go into the inspector and start to understand that like this thickness map is what is driving my subsurface scattering. So if I change this up, you're going to see some changes, though very slight, in what we're looking at here. And you can start to understand how each of these things work. The same goes for all of these materials though they're a bit more basic, um, but you can see base, mask, normal, um, what we talk about all the time. And they have a bunch of different types of materials in here. So I'm just gonna move forward. You have some hair, you have fabric, 
And guys, these are just a few of the samples. The, these things go on forever. So uh, I really am making this video just to point out that all of this is in here for you to use. So use it. Uh, come in here and figure out how these things work, pull them apart, and reuse them in your own stuff. So let's say I love this silk material. I can come over here and go to select shader, double click that shader, and it's going to show me the graph that is deriving that exact output. And we can always come in here and do a simple shader graph tutorial next uh, as a video, but all of this is relatively straightforward. Um, there's a lot that you'll need to kind of follow along from node to node to understand what's coming from where, uh, but spectacular resources here. So let's say I come up here in material samples, we come back up into scenes and I open up I, don't save that. And inside of scene, I'm now looking at the eye. Let me recenter the camera on this eyeball. And now I can get in here and I could either start to change some of the textures myself. Let's say I wanted to take a picture of my own eye and try to get it to match. I could do that. There's also a lot of detail in here where you can scale up and down things like pupil radius. There's limbal ring size sclera. I mean, there's, there's a bunch of stuff in here. So get in here, check it out, and see if any of this is applicable to what you're trying to do, which if it's to make an eye shader, I think it probably will be. So here we are. If I open up the eye shader, we can see all this good stuff. I won't spend long on it, but just to make sure that I drive the point home, I mean, you have particle systems here, so let's come over here and open up the particle system scene. Uh, the difference between particle systems and the VFX graph we can get into uh, another day probably. But the idea of if you're wanting to get into particle systems, let's say I go in here to each of these unlit and lit systems and let them play through their previews. And all of this is for different types of effects. So if I come in here and watch this play for a second, so I can now get in here and leverage this, reuse it, change up colors, whatever I want to do to make this mine, and really just start working with it in that way. Um, so I think it's super cool. It's something that's often overlooked is the fact that a lot of this stuff, including, uh, let's just throw one in here in addition to everything else. Uh, if I wanna get in here and do the water samples, I'm gonna hit import. And now I can have the water samples loading in. All these samples are going to come in as their own scenes, their own prefabs, their own scripts, their own shader graphs. It's, it's fantastic. Will be now that water samples are installed, let's say I want to go to the glacier. So let's say I've opened up this glacier and now I can start looking around at what's happening at each of those locations. Let's say I want to select this right here in the inspector and look at what's happening. I mean, there's just so much great information in here. And I come in here and say, okay, I've seen what I need to see there. Let me see what an island looks like. And then when you pull up something like this with water, you can see immediately that there are some things not working, but there's inside of the sample showcase window, a piece that takes you to each individual thing that you need to be turning on to get it all set up properly. So it holds your hand through the process. It shows you all of these great examples. Please go in and check this out. Let me know which samples are your favorites. Uh, I think one that I'm going to cover more in depth soon is the um, Cinemachine one about the virtual cameras and some of the new movements that have come with Cinemachine 3.0. So thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day. See ya.